Alright, so the other day I posted a video about the time I got ripped off by some kid for a pair of $20 speakers. And I said in that video that I could make a whole nother video about this kid because of the bad impression that he made on himself when he first came here, when he first moved here from where he came from. So I thought, you know, let's just do a video on it. Let's just make this video because it's actually a pretty entertaining story and there's kind of a sort of a fight involved in it. So let's get into it. So this kid, he came here and I'm not going to tell you where he came from, but the place where he came from is only like five, six hours away from where I live. I mean, it's not too too far but we're gonna call it east dickensville even though that's not even any remotely close to what the place that he came from sounds like but anyway he came from east dickensville <laughs> and he comes to our school and he just immediately gives this awful bad impression like he's the top shit the biggest badass motherfucker you'll ever lay eyes on just the ultimate fucking badass right so he comes here he's like i'm the drug lord and he's he, well, he didn't really say that but he's he's giving himself the impression that he's the drug lord of east dickensville or whatever i said and he's telling everybody he's got like the best hookups the best drug the best weed you can find the he got all the hookups to cocaine, meth, anything you want, any kind of drug you want, anything involving drugs, I got the hookups, just go to this dude, I got it all man, I got everything you can think of, like he was literally giving the impression that he was the ultimate drug lord so this kid immediately became like the big talk of the school too just based on how he was portraying himself and giving his first impression like it was just everybody was talking about oh this kid's a drug lord oh this kid's just the big drug addict blah 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 you know everybody was just kind of making fun of him you know small talk in this kid you know nobody was really talking to him or anything we were just all kind of just talking shit about him basically it was kind of funny and then he, the second day of school starts trying to hit on like almost every girl like he was just walking up to girls and flirting with them trying to hit on them you know things like that which is really kind of funny and one of the girls that he tried to hit on actually had a boyfriend and this dude is really super overprotective and not afraid of like anybody this kid like super fucked up about this so skip ahead a little bit during that day we get to English class, right? And I'm sitting there in English class, and this dude that was dating this girl was in there when I was in there, and the douchebag drug lord walks in the room. The guy with the girlfriend gets up out of his chair, walks up to the drug lord, grabs him by the fucking shirt, picks him up, and starts shouting at him, Don't talk to my girlfriend! Don't talk to her! Don't look at her! Don't flirt with her! Don't do anything with her! Just stay away from her! And this drug lord kids look at him like, Oh my god, I didn't do anything! I'm not that type of person! Please don't hurt me! Ah! Just, you know, just telling him, I didn't do it! I don't know what you're talking about! I'm not that type of person! Blah, blah, blah! And he's like, I don't care! I don't need your feedback! Don't talk to her! And he picks him up even higher, and he just fucking throws him back! He trips over this one chair and just lands straight on his back. It looked so painful, dude. It just, it looked like it just honestly hurt really, really bad. And then this kid gets up. He's like, dude, I'm not that type of person. I would never try and take somebody else's girlfriend. I'm not that type of person. And he's like, I don't care. Just don't talk to her. And then like during that class, they eventually kind of both just calmed down and settled down a little bit. And then they started talking and they kind of just, I don't want to say they became friends by the end of the class, but like they just both came to an agreement and just both like kind of just dropped the whole subject and just left it alone and the kid that got mad about all this was like perhaps i should probably learn what's going on and learn the whole story before i just start flipping shit on people and everybody just kind of looks and goes yeah yeah you probably should but yeah that's the story about the douchebag drug lord ultimate player fucking fuck boy or whatever you want to call him from uh east dickensville that literally came here said he had all the best hookups all the best drugs you can get and then tried to hit on every other girl like he's an example of like every modern day mainstream rapper basically but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh don't forget to drop a like if you did don't be a douchebag drug lord and don't try and hit on other girls in the school that you have no clue who they are because they just might have a boyfriend that'll fucking kick the shit out of you. But anyways, that is it. This has been AJ or Eclipse, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Don't touch my girlfriend. Don't talk to her. Don't look at her. Don't say anything to her. Leave her alone.